Chalaka Gumpy, nice lots of nice little. Well, Donald, as the saying goes, if you got something to say, <laughs> say it to my face. I and do want you to be honest. I'm not able to uh, be rushed this fast. It makes me nervous. Has the president or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone? Yes or no, please, sir. Um, the president or anybody else. Seems you'd remember something like that and be able to tell us. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to grapple with the word suggest. Can you think of any laws that give the government the power to make decisions about the male body? I'm not a... I'm not a thinking of any right now, Senator. Hundred thousand dollars a year. He said he's going to repeal the Trump tax cuts. Uh, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Well, wait, wait. I'm speaking. Is he only going to repeal part of the Trump tax cuts? If you don't mind letting me finish, we can Please. then have a conversation, okay? Please. Okay. I will not sit here and be lectured by the Vice President on what it means to enforce the laws of our country. I am the only one on this stage who was personally prosecuted everything from child sexual assault to homicide. America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. Donald Trump got punked. <laughs> when black women make 61 cents on the dollar, as compared to all women who tragically make 80 cents on the dollar, the question has to be, where you been and what are you going to do? When we talk about absent, um, I think it is important that you show up and that that's the kind of leadership California wants. I have never missed a close, never. crucial vote. The record shows that the Congresswoman missed over 70% of the Homeland Security Committee meetings in the United States Congress. The facts speak for themselves. Well, look, our administration worked on the most significant border security bill in decades. Some of the most conservative Republicans in Washington, D.C. supported the bill. Even the Border Patrol endorsed it. It was all set to pass. But at the last minute, Trump directed his allies in the Senate to vote it down. Right. He tanked, tanked the bipartisan deal because he thought it would help him win an election. Which goes to show Donald Trump does not care about border security. He only cares about himself. The problem is the Republicans, not the Democrats. We know how the Democrats are going to uh, vote. It's too many of my Republican colleagues are unwilling to vote to secure the border. First, there was an effort to make law, which requires you to deal with Democrats, and then our nominee for president didn't seem to want us to do anything at all. That took months. Everybody who comes on this floor and says our border is broken, we should do something about it. You're absolutely right. Um, and unfortunately, we didn't get there. President Trump opposed the Senate bill. We couldn't find a better way forward uh, that would get 60 votes. It was painful to be able to watch. It got stirred up in all the presidential politics and several of my colleagues started looking for ways uh, after President Trump said, don't fix anything uh, right. during the presidential election. It's the single biggest issue during the election. Don't resolve this. That's on Donald Trump, Senator. All right. So, Georgia, as many of you know, before, and have a seat if you have a chair. <laughs> uh, as many of you know, before I was elected vice president, and before I was elected a United States Senator, I was an elected Attorney General and an elected District Attorney. And before that, I was a courtroom prosecutor. So in those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Predators who abused women who ripped off consumers, yeah. cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. Yeah. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's tight. For 
example, as Attorney General of California, I took on one of our country's largest for-profit colleges that was scamming students. Well, Donald Trump ran a for-profit college that scammed students. As a prosecutor, I specialized in child sexual abuse cases and sexual abuse cases. Well, Trump was found liable for committing sexual abuse. And as an attorney general, I held the big Wall Street banks accountable for fraud. Donald Trump was just found guilty of fraud.